All right. What's up? It's Mr. McCluskey. So last week I was asked a question by a student when I was teaching in summer school. Uh, what do I do outside of school? And the answer, and the only answer that I had was, uh, I played Fortnite. Are you kidding me? You've got to be kidding me. So today's video is definitely going to deal in some form or some fashion with Fortnite. So let's get to it. All right, so today we're going to be talking about the five themes of geography. Five themes of geography. The five themes of geography are movement, region, human environment interaction, location, and place. And if you look at that, what does it spell? Mr. Help. Mr. Help. So let's jump right into it. Let's start with number one. The first one is movement. Movement is how goods, people, ideas, anything like that get around the world. Now think about this. When you start a Fortnite game and you are on that island waiting to go, and then you go from that island into the map, um, that is movement. That is you moving or kind of like immigrating to this map to play. It wouldn't necessarily be kind of just running around and moving your character. The video you're watching, how this video gets spread around the internet, that is movement. The fact that you're playing it on a console of some type or even a PC, those things were made somewhere else and those parts and the, the product had to be shipped to you. They put it on a big ship and they bring it to the United States or Europe or Africa or wherever. And that, that would be movement. And the second one is region. A region is an area with similar characteristics that make it different from other areas. Uh, when you look at a Fortnite map, you can see that there is a desert region, there is a mountainous region, and in the center you have like a kind of hilly, wooded region. Those are all different regions because they all have different characteristics that make it similar to that area, but different from the others. The third is human environment interaction. Human environment interaction is basically how do humans interact with this environment. In Fortnite, it's where you're knocking down that tree to get the wood. Uh, that's what we would do in real life. We would knock down trees to get wood to build houses, and again, Imagine you just keep building and building and building and building in Fortnite. You know, they'll just stay away to heaven. And then, of course, my luck is... Uh, you fall off. In the real world, human environment interaction can even be the clothes that you wear. If it's hot outside, you wear shorts and t-shirt. If it's cold outside, you put a big jacket on. I mean, if it's freezing cold outside, it does not make sense for you to be wearing a bathing suit or a Speedo or something like that. And if it's really hot and you're in the middle of the desert, it doesn't make sense to be wearing a gigantic, you know, winter jacket. All right, number four is location. Now, location is basically where something is. If you're asking to find something or you want to know where you're going, location is what you are asking. Now, there are two types. There is absolute and there is relative location. Now, absolute is an exact location. It could be an address, it can be latitude and longitude. Now in Fortnite, an absolute location might be just the town name, kind of like if you were going to like um, Haunted Hills or Loot Lake or Retail Row. Anything like that would be kind of in this point a, an exact location. If someone was to put a waypoint on the map saying I want you to go there, that is also an exact location. That would be the equivalent of today saying like a GPS location on your phone or anything like that. The second of the two is relative location. Now relative location is a little bit different. Relative location is a location in relationship to something. Uh, most of the time is a location in relationship to you. When you're playing Fortnite and you see an enemy and you say over there, that is a relative location. That character is over there from you. It's easy to understand. I cannot map over there. I can't do anything because it's not in relationship to me. It's in relationship to your character. Now, relative location is probably the location we use most on a daily basis. So when you hear over there, next to this, next to that, behind you, those are all relatives. When you're using a GPS and you hear your GPS say in 400 feet, that 400 feet is in relationship to you. You just don't hear GPS to say, turn over there, because that would be crazy. So uh, no. Okay. That wouldn't be good. And number five, the last one is place. A place is a location with certain characteristics, be it human or physical characteristics, that make it different from others. When we think of Retail Row, kind of looks like a little shopping strip mall area, um, that place is different than Loot Lake. 
it is completely different. It doesn't look the same. It doesn't have the same physical characteristics. You know, Loot Lake has a huge lake. Um, it doesn't have as many stores. The human characteristics are different. And that's what makes it a place. And that's it. That's all of the five themes of geography. Movement, region, human environment interaction, location, and place. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Smash it if you think that you can beat me in Fortnite. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe below. And leave a comment. Give me some pointers to help make me a better Fortnite player. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.